This is Nine News with Peter Overton. Good evening. There's been a sensational development in the drugs in sports scandal. A player with links to Souths has been stood down pending an investigation into the use of banned substances. Nine News has obtained a text message conversation in which the player appears to admit to using peptides and steroids. Curtis Johnson is a member of the Rabbitohs feeder club, the North Sydney Bears. Nine News has obtained text messages sent from his phone in which he appears to boast about his drug use. Just been laying in bed with about three yabby pumps putting peptides into me the last two days, bruz. Haven't had any roids for a few weeks. I used to every off-season, used to run the risk. Now I'm there and hopefully in the team, so I'd rather not. When asked how to access the drugs, Johnson replies, Got a mate can give you the number. He can get you anything within a couple of weeks. He supplied a name and number. Souths and Bears officials now have those details. It's understood Johnson is claiming the conversation was a joke. He's been here for the last five years. He's tested at least five or six times with Asada and has come back negative every time. However, Johnson has been stood down while the Bears investigate. And if the NRL or the AFL think that every club isn't looking for an edge, they should think again. You know, it'd be sort of foolish to think that, you know, Essendon were the only club that were looking at, you know, these sort of programs. Um, and I think when you think of what these players do on a week-to-week -week and a year-to-year -year basis, I think you've got 18 clubs that are all very well coached and obviously all have a very good high-performance unit and they're all looking for a cutting edge. The Dogs coach Des Hasler worked closely with Dank at the Eagles. Hasler has no problem with him. Steve Dank is a great thinker. Uh, he's a, a great in, in an analytical thinker. I've got no palm 100%. You know, we, we, we work entirely within you know, the policy and the, you know, and the WADA and all this other uh, guidelines. So there's no drama there. Let's go live now to Danny Widler. Danny, what more do we know about the Johnston case? Well, Pete Johnston uh, declined to comment when I approached him for one today. He is seeking legal advice and he has told the Bears that he hasn't been using drugs. In a broader sense, the Crime Commission has told the NRL they can start to tell their clubs which clubs are actually in trouble. The NRL haven't done that as yet. OK, Danny, thank you.